Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Pinky the housewife. I'm trying to get it right. Let me see. Uh, let me see. This is my first time doing this, so, um, but I want to say good morning. If I'm doing it right or if I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. I'm getting ready to find out. Let me see. Linda Gamble. Hello, Linda. This is Pinky. This is my first time doing what they call the uh, live uh, this way. I have ne never done it this way. So let me uh, get in my chair right. So if I'm doing it right, if you can see me or hear me, just, just let me know. Uh, let me see. Good morning. So you all can see me. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm drinking my coffee this morning. I'm up early. My husband woke me up at eight, no, no, seven o'clock this morning. So I can do, uh, get it right. Let me see. Thank you, Miss Linda Gamble for being in the house. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me see how to pronounce this name. We're gonna, uh, that's Y-O-E-L-Y-S. Tennis guess. Good morning. I hope I spelled uh well. I I don't want to mess it up, but thank you, thank you, thank you for being in the house. And I love that uh the, that uh sunshine, the uh sun breaking through and uh Jonetta boy, thank you this morning. So I did it what right, guys. This is my first time doing it like this. Let me get up in my chair. Or it's getting the I'm I'm at the bar. I may have to get up and uh, scoop down one because there's, uh, and I got my uh, my candle going this morning. And you know what we're going to talk about? You know how everybody talk about everything else, but we're going to talk about everything. Melanie, yes, we are. And let me pull my candle closer to me. Let me show you. I got my candle lit, guys. I hope I don't, uh, so I got that going and making the um, uh, my uh, energy. Wait, let me uh, just do this here. Y'all have to excuse me. Let me see. No, I just stay where I am. No, yes, I am. I'm just going to stay here and just adjust my chair. Oh, gosh, adjust these big bar stools. I think I'm too far away from the bar. Uh, let me see. I think I am. I don't know. Well, we'll figure it out. I think I am. I'll wait till husband come through and I may have him to uh, push my chair up for me. But thank you guys. Let me see who else is in the house this morning. Uh, Renetta uh, D. Elliot, thank you for coming in. Uh, oh my God. I did it right. This, you know, the live screen that they have on uh, the YouTube, I have never done it this way. But I uh, set it up last night and I said, I told my husband, it may work, it may not work. But I told him to wake me up early. Uh, let me see. Trending at some point. Good morning, Trendy. And Trendy is saying good morning to Linda Gamble and Janetta Boyd and uh, <clears throat> Renata uh, and Pinterest. Yes. I hope I, I'm going to have my husband to pronounce your name so I can be right. Y'all have to excuse me. I got allergies. Okay. I know you shouldn't be doing that on a live, but there's a lot of things I shouldn't be doing on a live, but I, you know, that's me. That's just who I, and let me show you all something. I took the uh, brace off so I won't be looking jacked up this morning, but you can see it's still swollen and bruised up and everything and all on this side. And it goes from here down to here. It just, but I took it off today because I, I'm trying to look cute today, but I had my husband, my daughter asked me this morning, mom, put it back on. Cause she, you know what, why? Because in a um, couple weeks, she wants to have her hair redone. You know what I mean? Uh, her locks, not the locks. She cut those off, but the, uh, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Um, 
I forgot. Let me, you know what? Let me go because I've been clapping. Let me just run uh, and get the things on my hand because I've been clapping. But I'll be right back, guys. Sorry guys, I've been clapping and, and I don't want to have to uh, take a pain pill right now because I may go to sleep on you all. So I'm going to put this back on my hand. I've been clapping and baby girl looking at me funny because she wants to make sure my hand is right so I can try to do her hair or something in a couple weeks from now. So let me, uh, let me just say this, every, I don't know, do I have to say this? on my live, but let me just say it anyway. I don't know, do I have to say it? But let me see who else is in the house today that I miss coming in. And if I missed anybody, and if I'm doing something wrong and not doing it right, guys, tell me because uh, this, is, this is a whole new ball game for me, okay? But we're gonna talk about everything Melanie. And if you all can see behind me on my TV, I got the queen herself. The, uh, she's not Melanie. She's the, uh, the one that turns everything by the touch into gold. So let me just show you. If she touched this mouse, it, this mouse here, I probably would make, it probably going to be 10 of them, 20,000 before the day is over, 30,000. Anybody else touch it, it's still going to be the same old mouse. But anything about Melanie, that's what we're talking about. Or you all can talk about, uh, bring up any other thing that you want to. We'll be happy to address that today. You can ask any questions, anything, anything. And don't ask about the dogs because we don't want to, we don't want to disturb them. They're outside with hubby this morning. They're out there because he's out in the garage doing something or somewhere. I don't know. But the dogs are out. But if you got your coffee, uh -uh. if you got your coffee, go ahead and let's give it up for Melanie. But I do want to say if anybody been uh, watching, Melanie is, she's our I, I am a true heart melanometer fine. You can see my pajamas are falling off me. Oh, shoot. And this is the extra small and it's still falling off me. But that's okay. Somebody got the worm. Somebody got, I'm not going to uh, not wear them because they're falling off me. I have a lot of things that fall off me. Uh, but let me see who else is in the house. I'm so grateful that you all are here and supporting uh, this and me. Uh, but yes, Melanie, we need to talk more about her. We need to talk about how she is shaking and moving and doing everything right. I'm not sure have anybody uh, seen her when she do that little dance of hers. Uh, she was doing, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, to her, you know, her, her, the college that she went to, A&M. Uh, let me show you what she, what I'm talking about. Let me move this thing out of the way. She was doing something like this here. Uh, hey, wait, hey, uh, uh, you know, in her video. Oh my God, I have watched that video several times. Uh, you know, Melanie cuts up. You know what I mean? Uh, she was cutting up. And, you know, I love it. I love it. I love it, Mel. Uh, also, uh, it was just so refreshing to see her happy. Let me just say it anyway. Everything is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only. This uh, live that I'm making is for education and entertainment purposes only. Now, let me ask you something. Uh, Linda Gamble or Trendy or any other bloggers or, or content creators, do I supposed to say that on a live when I'm talking about someone as famous as Mel or any of them treacherous people that hangs out on the show because I don't think they're doing anything. But if I do supposed to say it, just put a, you did right. Or if I, or okay, you, or yes, if I didn't supposed to say it, you can just say no to me. Okay. Everyone, 
Uh, we got Shirley Terry in the uh, pink house. Everyone in the chat, she's saying hello, hello. And you said it if you, let me see. I want to uh, look cute. I am with my daughter and sure is healed. Oh, thank you. Let me see. Good morning, Linda. Uh, and that's from Janetta Boyd. Good morning, Rita, Re, uh, Renata. Uh, let me see. Uh, everybody is saying good morning. I hope y'all got y'all's coffee. I only see one. Yes, coffee up for Melanie. Who else got their coffee up? That is coming straight from, let me see. I should have my glasses on. Coffee, uh, that's, uh, is it Yanni's, uh, Y-O-E-L-Y-S? Yes, I'm just calling you, miss. I'm going to just call you the Y, the Y, okay? The YP. Ooh, that could be a song, the YP. YP. I get, I get a little, I tell you, my dogs are knocking me around so much, I get a little crazy. But, so you all seen that uh, video that Melanie did, right? And everything. So it's to be safe because the con conversation usually turns to the uh, Scots, Stormy, Martell, etc. So just cover yourself, Pinky. Thank you, Trinity, at some point. You're right. Just cover myself because I, you know, you probably you don't have to worry about Mel when you're talking, uh, talking all the positive stuff because there's nothing negative about her. So you're just talking positive. But when it comes to those Scots, Martell, and the rest of those, like Stormy and all them, you're right. Cover myself because I'm some thirsty, hungry uh, gutter rags, gutter snipes. You know, they may try to come for my my brakes. They may try to come for any little thing. They may want my coffee cup. They want to sue me for my coffee cup. I don't know. But we ain't taking no chances. You're right. Shoot. Um, they may want to try to sue me for my headband on my head. Anything. I don't take no chances with them. I agree. Uh, let's keep focus on the Queen of Huntsville. You are right. Okay. You are right. Uh, she just did a post. Melanie just did a post. So scene two. Good morning. Good morning. And she's saying good morning to the chat as well. And I hope you got. And so I want to thank you for all you do as well. The, all of you all. Um, but I hope you got your uh, coffee because I got mine. But yes, Melanie did a recent uh, live. She was in her car with, uh, I forgot her name, her friend. But anyway, she was saying that uh, she's, it's best to distance yourself from people that bring in all this bad energy, people that always want something, people that are bad for your soul, for your but your mental health, all oh, I just have, let me just play it and see. Uh, this is, I want you all to see this. I was, let me see. Just give me one second. Listen, you have to be careful, right, about who you attach yourself to and who you allow to hold space in your life. That is true. And me and Lauren was just sitting here having this Alone. conversation. I'm not going to go into the, all the details me and her was talking about. But I told her I had to come over here and tell the people. I'm going to go live and tell the people. Let me tell you. You have to be careful. Let me tell you. Pay attention to people who come in your life and they drain the life out of you. Mm -hmm. um, there's nothing but drama and chaos that comes with them. Yeah, I'll see it. There's nothing but more lows than highs that come with them. You are not Captain Sable Ho. You ain't got to be out here. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, she is sorry. <laughs> what she said? She is not Captain Sable Garden 2. You know, the hole that's in the uh, garden that you use uh, in your garden or on your yard. Yeah, she is not that. Okay? You're going to have to let those people fly on their own. And if their wings are broken and they can't fly, just this is my portion of it. Just just let them go. If they fall, they fall. If they get up and they get up and fly, so be it. But I, she, She's not going to be taking care of everybody else's problems. Um, Linda Gamble saying hello. I see season two. 
Um, Phyllis Crawford, thank you for being in the house this morning, the pink house, and good morning. And I hope you got your uh, your coffee as well. Um, good morning, Pinky in chat. Okay, thank you. Create a, a banner, banner that uh, scrolls when you're live to be safe, but definitely speak the uh, disclaimer to protect your uh, channel. There, This is uh, coming from uh, Janetta uh, Avoid. There's no telling what people will say, especially if you bring people up. You're right. That's why I said everything is allegedly, okay? And this is my opinion, and my opinion only, and the opinions of my, uh, the people that's on live with me. I'm going to protect y'all as well, too, with it. And then, because uh, this live is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. They'll try to twist that around and say, I didn't say it. Um, Linda Gamble saying hello, uh, Phyllis um, and Phyllis Crawford, uh, giving 100% in the hearts. But you're right. Um, Melanie, if you watch Melanie uh, from uh, Mel from the uh, beginning, from episode one, all the way up until where they uh, left off, like everybody says, even me, but I have noticed this because I've been watching um, everything from day one. I should have had that light on up, up there, right? Give me some more light, but that's okay. Uh, next time I know, I'll turn that light on up there. But anyway, um, she is, she, she feels, she looks brighter. She looks not in terms of uh, skin texture, but she, her, she, her soul, her spirit, she feel, she looks like she's floating almost. She's showing the uh, greatness that was uh, seen like it was being diminished. Remember she said, don't bring people in your life uh, that would, that she's not what well, Captain Saber, you know, gotten to. When you, Martell was that for her and he never protected her. Uh, good morning also, uh, to Linda from uh, Phyllis uh, Crawford, uh, so season two, we have to uh, have boundaries. Um, some people can suck the joy out of you. You are right about that. I got one myself. Whew. I mean, every time the person calls, it leaves me in a, uh, I wouldn't say a depressed or, it's not a depressed mode. It's almost like a, they leave me stressed with their problems. I got a couple of them, but uh, I had to um, distance myself. And this is a this you know this is um, somebody that's very close to me, um, a family member. I got a huge family, so they don't know which one I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I had to distance myself because they suck the life out of you. And I think with Melanie, when we saw her during the first season, first episode or the first season, any of those episodes, Martell actually was, it's like he, he was sucking the life. All those, you know, you, 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 you're still moving, you're still shaking, you're still doing your thing, raising your kids, making a beautiful family and everything. Because she still was, she was the one in charge of the operation. That means their businesses. She was the one that's making the decisions, doing everything, um, taking care of the family. Uh, that means her kids. At the time, she only had the three. Uh, you know, uh, not baby sugar mama wasn't uh, here yet. And she wasn't blessed with that beautiful child. Oh, gosh. And uh, then also she still was running the house. And if you ever watched her home, beautiful home, very clean, very clean. And I don't think they ever showed that, you know, like most people at home, they have to have someone of that size to keep it clean for them, come in and clean it. No. I, now, if she had one, I don't remember uh, of someone cleaning her home. I just remember Mel had a beautiful home, inside and out. And she still had great relationships with uh, all the people that was close and dear in her heart. She didn't suffer from that. Uh, she was still doing everything and keeping this man from the gutter looking like he had something, keeping him looking like he 
was made of something or came from something, you know, and keeping all his dirty little secrets to try to make people think he's of caliber, which he was not. So she was running the whole operation. And then and I don't know whether y'all remember a scene where she was offered to do a play, be, be the head headliner in a play. Um, and he wanted to stop that and told her, you don't have enough time to do all of that. So many times we saw on the show where he was just, just clawing her down like a wet animal. When I say clawing her down, telling her they was laying in the bed and she was bringing it up and he was telling her, you don't have time for this. You don't have time for that. Basically, you don't have time to take care of me and do what I want you to do for me. He wants for him. Uh, let me see. Uh, did I miss anything? Um, Renita uh, Elliott says she totally agree. You're right. And so seeing go from person to person, dumping negative, oh, dumping a negativity only to call the next person and repeat it. Yes, that is true. That is true. He did go to person to person. He dumped negativity on her, trying to bring, keep her. If you notice, he was trying to suppress her, her light. But then he can go out at night and, and get his jump offs. Uh, dropping that, dragging that thing everywhere up and down Huntsville streets and then coming back to our, to the home. And this was before the pandemic and this was during the pandemic. Oh, I shouldn't say pandemic. Let me just say the uh, C-19, okay? To make it uh, correctly for uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, uh, dragging that, uh, the hardest over dragging, I want to say dragging that uh, thin thing. I hope I'm right. <laughs> I can't see it all right now because there's a heart right in front of it. But I think I know what you're talking about, Trendy. Uh, dragging that thing. Yes, yes, yes. I love it, Pinky. Thank you, Trendy. Uh, thank you. Uh, but also... There was too many scenes, and there was a scene where uh, they was he they was getting dressed to go somewhere. They was in the bedroom, in their bedroom, and she was telling them that uh, how he is messing up a good thing. He got everything here, but he was saying, "But no, you're not doing what I want you to do in the bedroom." Because, and then that's when he did bring about. This, uh, the side chick that he wouldn't have to go somewhere else if she was doing what she's supposed to do. Maybe he didn't have what she was looking for. Maybe that, I don't know, just my opinion and my opinion only. But that's doing the first, I would say that first episode, first scene, I looked at his eyes. Everybody was looking at his body or, you know, the pick means was looking at the body and looking at uh, how well she kept him dressed. I won't say him because if you notice, he's not dressed well now. He looks like a bum, right? But everybody was looking at that. I was listening to what he was saying, but I looked at his eyes because I am seeing eyes like that. Because I've been, you know, in Mississippi, you remember? I seen those eyes, not from me, but I seen them. I had a friend. You know, I seen those eyes before, not my friend. I had a friend that had a stepfather with those eyes. And I seen those eyes before, okay? That's all I'm gonna say about that. But so when you see a person with those uh, looking like that, I knew they was, a, you know how little kids can see bad energy and they don't know how to express it. A baby you got in his arm, in your arm will go to everybody all the time. But then once somebody new comes up, and and the baby would normally go to new people, but that baby won't go to this person. That that child or that baby can feel that energy. They can they can sense. And when a child that can't express what they're understanding or seeing can or feeling, take cues. I took cues from the way he looks. His eyes was telling all. And then when he would open his mouth, trying to tell her, 
it was like suppressing her energy, suppressing her light and focus all on him. Like he was the man in charge. He was talking like he was making the money. She was making all the money. And since she have left him, she is so free. Her kids, I when they're around her, they, they look so free and so happy. I mean, she just glowing of happiness. Uh, she is doing things that she didn't think she was a, able to do because he suppressed those. You know, I think, remember, she always talked, uh, she had said she wanted to sing or she used to sing, but in that marriage, she wasn't able to express that. She's, as Melanie is a triple threat. She's a singer. She's, um, she's, a, 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 she's a, a star on love. She's the, she's the one that pitched the uh, love in uh, marriage Huntsville. I don't think it was Martel. Remember, Martel said he would have, Martel can't even speak when he's by himself on stage. That's why they always gave the mic to uh, Melanie. Just be clear. That's what it was. My uh, dog feels bad energy, 100%. That's Phyllis Crawford. Yes, you're right. Because you're right. Dogs can also feel it. Because my, um, the Husky, Bella the Husky, and uh, uh, Coda, my other dog, they can feel it. They can actually, they can feel a lot of things. Uh, when when my son um, hurt himself, because uh, he uh, went a couple months ago, not more than a couple months ago, this was the beginning of this year, sometime at the beginning of this year, yeah. You know, he uh, went head into a, a tree, uh, coming down, uh, sli sliding down the mountain on rocks on his bike. The bike went sliding with the rocks in. He, he went down and hit his head, but he's fine. When he got home, the dogs can sense. They could sense something was wrong with him. They they just, uh, they laid across his chest. They would not leave him. They would not do anything. If he laid, stayed laying down, they stayed laying down. Normally they want to go outside. No, they didn't want to go. They can sense. And every time he goes into the hospital and comes back, he said they smelled a hospital on him. No, they could smell something is wrong in your body too. So he would always watch, take a shower, and but they still do the same thing. I told him, no, they know you're sick. That's why they're protecting you. And you're right. Um, let me see. Obviously, um, what succeeding to, obviously, uh, Salsa, what is this? Salsa Kirk was not enough since he's not Running after her, yes, yes. Talking about her brain, no, he's not running after her. He's still been trying. I would say for the last three years, and even still today, from the Houston trip, he's still trying to get Melanie's attention because he knows what he lost. Now he feel the impact. He couldn't feel the impact at first. He was too busy doing what a narcissistic person would do, trying to attack and bring her down. And all the people that that was in their group, he tried to get them on his side to help bring her down. But if you notice, because that she said, God said, go. And that's when she left, right? God spoke with her and, and still carrying her today. When I say carrying her today, it's almost like God walks with Melody. God got her in his hand. She's surrounded by him, and those kids are too. Those kids are too. They, they protect her from the evilness of that bird brain. They protect, and I, everything is just my opinion. Like I said, this is allegedly um, uh, trending at some point. Said Montero can't get a full throat out of his head. You're right, because every time they would have any type of event, what, what happens? They give the mic to Melanie. If you ever noticed before they uh, before she left, I'm not gonna say they broke up because they didn't break up. She left this dusty, uh, oh lord, it's dusty butt. That's what happened. She left him. He thought that she wouldn't go nowhere because she had four kids at the time then. Because Sugar Mama was here then. She th he thought that she would never leave him. Be a single mom, four kids, and and he. Had, 
He had took the, took the money out of the account. Allegedly, it was 17, I think it was $17,000 he took. And still haven't paid it back yet? Or gave it back? No. Like she told her attorney, let him keep it. That's how God works. Let him keep it. And you see, he haven't made nothing of himself since. Anybody, if that money was silver mail, she had been double and triple fold that money. But no. Uh, uh, so scene two, dogs and children, children can feel our emotions too. That is true. That is true. I definitely uh, believe that. And I know that. Um, and then the gamble, dogs can uh, smell, uh, what is this, brim, uh, brimstones on people. What is what is that, uh, Linda Gamble? I know they can, they can, they can smell a lot of stuff on people. Uh, and Phyllis um, Crawford is saying yes to uh, Linda. Geneva uh, Harrison, thank you for coming into the house, the Pink House today. And M. Patricius, uh, thank you for coming in the house as well. He's saying hello to Linda Gamble with a heart. Uh, yes, guys. Let me make sure I haven't missed anybody. But thank you, guys, uh, everybody, for showing up. Uh, but you're right. He tried so much to bring her spirits. But when she left his dusty butt and she had to move into an apartment and take her kids with her, mm, he thought she'll be coming back because he wouldn't let her take nothing, nothing out of the house. Kept her furs, kept her clothes, her bags, everything. He kept everything and not, would not let her take a bed, the kids' beds for them to sleep on. No, that's that's what you call a, a dirty man. A rotten soul, just my opinion, but he's a rotten soul in and out. And, I, and he's nothing to be proud of, okay? His mama... Thinks she got a good son. Oh, you see what your son is now, right? You just refuse to uh, open your eyes, but you still see it even with your eyes closed. Uh, so seeing uh, two says, uh, trending. No, he can't uh, lack. I'm going to let the hard uh, confidence to try. I'm going to let the heart let it move up for a moment, and I'll be able to see it all. Lacks uh, confidence to try. Okay. All right. Thank you. He was uh, trying to control her with no uh, consideration of the, his family. No, he don't care. No, you're right. He used those kids as uh, leverage to control her, but it didn't work. Because she, when you got God on your side, you see all. Even if you don't see it, God sees it for you. He see it for you, and he moves you in a way. And you, you're thinking you're moving on your own, but he moves, and you be wondering why you did this and why why you doing No, because he's moving you. He might not tell you, but he's moving you in the right direction. You you just have to have faith. That, that low-down, dirty snake don't have faith in his body for nothing. And then he would say that he took her to church. No. He, she probably took you to church. But let me, she took her kids, moved to an apartment, and now she is just thriving. Everything she do, I mean, when I say she's thriving, she is thriving. I just love it for Melanie. When I say I love it, I love it. I think, I think we all, as millimeters, and I'm uh, not going to try to speak for everybody, but for me, and I know a lot of you all that's in the chat as well, you feel this, uh, you, you're you millimeters, 10 toes deep. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. And when I say this, that I know that everything she touched, everything she's doing is going to keep folding over and over and over. We're behind her 100%, and I hope she knows that we'll always be there 100%. We do not believe the naysayers, uh, the pick me's, because their, their job, just like Montel's job, is to try to turn people against her. 
But how can you turn somebody against somebody when you're you're moving sideways all the time? When you're trying to destroy not only her, but your kids, trying to take money from your kids, you're letting uh, your kids being uh, babies, you're letting someone watch your kids and being around your kids that hate the mother, dislike the mother, um, talk about them, talk about the mother putting their business out, trying to use them, and you allow that just to just to dig at her just because you're angry that she don't want to want you back. Let me be clear. She just don't want you back. So that's how you taking out your frustration by letting other women that she don't even know or care for or don't like her call her, call them bonus, call themselves bonus moms or, or that they're watching your kids. Oh no, no, no. But Melanie, like she said, uh, she tell them what the kids eat for breakfast, what you got to do, what they like and how they like it. Fix them this. This is how they, what they eat in the morning. This, yes. And this is what you got to do because she knows, although no mother's going to stop worrying about the kids, but you know, your kids are covered by God. So anything they, that they try to do to your kids is going to come tenfold back to them. Uh, let me see. Um, let me see. Phyllis, I agree, Pinky. God is awesome. You're right. Thank you, Phyllis Crawford. Uh, and succeeding to remember, he pulled up on her and said he can pop up anywhere the kids are. Yes, he did. He pulled up on her. Uh, if you're talking about the same scene where uh, they was outside in the uh, on the driveway and she was out there and the kids was playing, having a good time, and if it's the same scene, he pulls up. And when he pulls up, he gets out. And did you, um, uh, Linda Gamble, uh, May May, thank you, May May, for coming into the house. She said uh, she's giving you a shout out and good morning to you. Uh, yeah, if that's the same scene where he pulls up, then he had the, uh, the kids go inside. Yeah. Good morning, uh, May May from Trinity. Yeah, that is... He made the, uh, the kids go inside. The kids was, but when he first pulled up, think about this. Did you see how um, Tank, uh, his son, his firstborn son, runs behind, um, not behind, but runs up to his mom. The uh, Some of the girls, I think two of the girls or whatever, runs over to give him a hug, like kids normally do. But Tank runs up to his mom and stands right there beside her or kind of in front of her. Did you all see that? That was a telltale sign. Melanie made the song, telltale sign. But that was a telltale sign. Tank was there. He's always trying to protect his mom and his sisters. But he is a mama's boy and he's going to protect his mom. And I think that snake in the grass, he don't like that. That's why... He did what he did to Tank, uh, allegedly. Let me just, uh, uh, May May, uh, good morning, Pinky, in the chat. Uh, let me just see, have I missed anybody else? Miss Reese, thank you uh, for uh, coming in the Pink House this morning. And today is, this is pajama morning and coffee morning. Yes, that's what this morning is. It's my coffee morning. Well, you know, I drink coffee every morning. So let's just be. And I'm, I'm always in pajamas. Y'all don't realize a lot of times on, uh, I'm in pajamas whenever I'm doing anything because I, I wear them everywhere. Ooh, I shouldn't say that, but I do. But nobody knows they're pajamas. I don't think. I hope not. But not all. I, I do wear them a lot. Every. No, people just don't be knowing. I, I be in the store sometimes with pajamas on, but we're going to get back to the matter at hand, okay? And Linda said, the two oldest kids saw what uh, Martel did to their mom. Yes, yes, they did. Tank and the uh, oldest daughter, yes, they did. They saw. And, and, and Tank, knowing that, Dad, we're going to have to protect Mom from you. Yes, 
That's just my opinion and my opinion only. Uh, let me see. Miss Reese said, uh, good morning, beautiful people. Uh, let me make sure. Melanie uh, and Miss Van and her children are covered by God, grace and mercy. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And Miss May May said, good morning to scene two. Miss Linda G trending at some point. Sexy Mama 60. Sexy Mama uh, came into the house and I missed her. Well, if you are in the house, Sexy Mama 60, good morning. And thank you for having coffee with us this morning. And uh, uh, Phyllis Crawford, let me just make sure I don't miss. Tank will protect his family 100%. And you are right, uh, Phyllis uh, Crawford, you are right. You see that all the time. And I think that's what, if you notice, uh, remember this uh, time when uh, allegedly Martel hurt Tank or put his hands allegedly or, or did something he shouldn't be doing by trying to uh, punish him? That wasn't right. I don't think it was a punishment. I think he just wanted to uh, try to uh, control that kid by making that kid afraid of him. And if you make the kid try to be afraid of him, then he can control him by telling him, you don't tell mommy this, you don't do this, or you try to be, he wants the, the kid to be like the um, that little illegitimate little kid. Uh, what's his name? I'm gonna say that little bad, that little bad boy. Okay, I don't like speaking ill of kids, but there's a bad kid, bad as kid. Yeah, uh, let me see. You're right. Uh, yes, ma'am. Enjoying the chat. Oh, that is sexy, mama. Uh, at 60 is in the chat. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, Lee Pepper. Hello, trending. Thank you, Lee Pepper, uh, for popping into the pink house. Uh, you and Miss Reese and uh, Sexy Mama, thank you all for popping in. Yes, and good morning. Uh, it's like I said, it's coffee time. Yes, uh, but also, yeah, he did. I think he is controlling and not doing right by those kids because if you ever notice, uh, those the Eminem kids are are almost like a robot when they're around him. If he says something, they all say it at the same time. It's almost like they do rehearsals at the house when at wherever he's at, whoever house that he's at, you know, because now he don't own nothing and he's moving from post to post himself. So it's almost like, remember the scene when they was in the car, right? And he said something and all, all of them just responded at the same time. Stop what they was doing and just responded at the same time. Tell, 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 tell is telling. And then when they was at that uh, march and, and he had the girls in their beautiful white dresses riding on the back of the of truck and had none of the kids in car seats, regardless, you know? And then had Sugar Mama back in the back with people that one of his 20 babysitters and that little bad kid up front with him with no car seat on as well. Man, you should have had somebody give you an SUV so you can put those kids, the ones that require a car seat, in a car seat and had those girls in their pretty little dresses sitting in a car with the windows down. If you wanted the windows down, have the windows down and they can wave from the car. But you was all about you, the your image. Okay, I'm just looking to see. But Melanie has rose so quickly and she's not just thinking about herself. She's thinking about a legacy for her kids. She's not just building herself. She's building herself in her kids the m and kids all at the same kids. And, you, and there's a reason I keep saying her kids because it seemed like he denounced himself away from the kids a long time ago. He just using them as to try to get money and to, uh, try to hurt Melanie. So I don't, although he is the father, 
but I just say her kids, okay, to me, because he and I already did wrong when he brought another child. He would have had three or four by side chick if, if, if it was planned, but, you know, because she was pregnant several times, allegedly. But he lost that privilege when, um, when he was stepping out, dragging all down the street with that thing. But um, yes, so I called it her kids. She's a uh, sugar mama. Part of sell out the minute, oh my gosh, the minute she launch it or the minute uh, she do anything, it just sells out, sells out. Her products sell out. And every and then they talk about the fact that she's uh, doing everything from her home. So what? The house is big enough. You can. She can. She, she can bring uh, uh, her car in her home if she want. Park it in the living room, probably. Okay. The house is big. The house is big. Okay. So. Why not? You got extra rooms. Do it in your home. I understand. When you got extra rooms, shit. I, oh, did I say, oh, don't curse, Pink. But yes, extra rooms, do something with them. She probably got other rooms that she can put to use too. The, the more products she need to put, put in those rooms. I understand that. But shit, I got extra rooms. This shit, I mean, nobody uh, living or go in. You know, half of the house, nobody even know, know it's there because nobody ever use it. <laughs> so I understand. But other people want to criticize that. But they can't even pay their, their warehouse bills. They get kicked out of every warehouse they go to, allegedly, because they're trying to be something or show something that they're not. And yes, to me, I think Mel is whooping your butt over not physically, but over, over the, uh, with the money, the way she's moving. She's moving like a businesswoman. She ain't moving like trying to show. She's moving like she's a businesswoman, like she always have been. She always ran her operation. And none of them, if you ever notice, none of her things have failed. With the others, they, with him, everything he touched have failed until he do right by her, her meaning Melanie Rogers. And everything is alleged, and this is my opinion, and my opinion only. Until he do right by Melanie and his kids. But when you do right by Melanie, it's going to trickle down to her kids. But until you do right by her, everything you touch is going to fail. Everything you touch is going to fail. Your wine fail. Your panty line, line that you had that you want the Scotch brothers to help by modeling, fail. It didn't even get off the ground if it did. Your little short uh, suit line with those knickerbockers, the, the uh, shorts to your knees with a suit jacket on that looks like you and took your brothers, your, uh, your somebody's kid clothes and put them on, fail. Do y'all hear anything about that suit line? No. No, 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 no. And if you do, let me know because I don't hear anything about it. I know it failed, allegedly. Everything he touched failed. He trying to get his, uh, what do you call that thing? Uh, Built his license, failed. Melanie takes it and pass day one. Let me get back. May, May, I don't know about those... Alabama guys, my oldest daughter, dad, uh, Todd, he was uh, going to try. Uh, he was going to uh, try. This is May May. I, want, I went in my house and got my hat 45. All I could see his blue car <laughs> down the street. I, oh my God, I understand that although we're talking in code, I truly understand what you say. Uh, all you can see was this blue car flying down the street. I hear you, Miss May May. Oh my God. Uh, sexy mama, how are you uh, this morning? We're, um, uh, that's the scene talking to sexy mama. 
Uh, let me see. Oh, yes, the scene too said, that's why people always said you have to be careful who you have children with. Yes, you're right about that. And she did say, Melanie was speaking, speaking to Tiffany, you know, when she went to visit Tiffany in her home when she was pregnant, she said uh, she thought she played a recording from her phone, right, allegedly, and said she thought uh, she had uh, she didn't know she was married to a queen or she married a queen. She would have uh, she uh, wish she had her children by a different person, a different man, something to the sort. But uh, I think everybody remember that scene. That's why we still today. He is a queen. He is a queen. She didn't have to say it. He acts like a queen. Petty, petty, petty. He acts like a woman running around. Uh, not a woman. I would say a child running around uh, town trying to get everybody uh, saying bad things about her, making up mess just to turn people against her. Short, oh, Lord. Let me see. Phyllis Crawford. Yes, uh, their lives have been disrupted. Yes, they. you're right, uh, Phyllis. Their lives have been disrupted, but because of Melanie, uh, her mom, Miss Van, and then her her family, the one uh, where she goes uh, and they visit the family and they own all this land. And uh, uh, yes, I think they have a sense of calmness and peace when they're around their mom and their grandmother and their family. Even when they just with their mom by themselves, you see how, how lovely and beautiful and cute uh, sugar mama is when she walks in there sometimes wearing her mom's shoes and her mom tells her to pull them off and she get up a little sassy. Nope, nope. And then her mom get get that little voice that's turned for, then them shoes come off. <laughs> or or Tank is uh, at home. He is so joyful and happy when he's at home. Even the, uh, the other girls, they are so happy. They be dancing with their mom, uh, doing their little dances and stuff. You tell me, they can tell the difference. They know the difference. When mom, they can be themselves. They can be open. They, they're able to express themselves, able to grow uh, and be free and feel free. But when they're with him, they're... He's to, um, just allegedly, in my opinion, he's drilling them, got them practicing what to say and how to say it and what to do and not making sure they don't uh, go back and tell anything. But, you know, when kids know they uh, are safe, they're going to be able to tell. And that's what they do. Um, let me see. Uh, just that's my opinion. Um, you're right, uh, Phyllis. It already failed. They uh Miss Reese said they are clueless. Yes, they are. Uh let me see. Uh like uh seceding too. And thank you for bringing that up. Uh she said it's a tax deduction for Melanie using her home. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, because she is using her home also as her business, and that is a tax deduction. You can you can use that. Yes, you can. And you see the other ones haven't caught on yet. <laughs> they can't even pay the, uh, the uh, bills or the rent at the places there. If you was a millionaire, you don't rent somebody's building. You buy your building. You buy the building. Or, or you buy that space. Or you build your warehouse. I know I would. That's just me. Maybe that's just my lean head because uh, I listen too much to my husband. That's what my husband would say. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't own a business, so I wouldn't know. But just my opinion. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. Uh uh, May May said, Melanie is about her family and her family business. Yes, she is. She's all about business. Let me ask you all. Have you all seen this? Uh, her um, one of the uh, lives she did where her and her friend was, uh, she come rushing. She's like, a, she's on a mission. And she rushed uh, like she's uh, 
what is it? Mission Impossible or something. She rushed into the house and it's supposed to be a business, but she rushed into the room and she uh, put this briefcase down and she uh, said, we got to move these products. We got to move them now. And the secu uh, her security is standing over there in, in the middle. Uh, he's standing over in the door. Okay. I would play out the scene because I love to do things crazy. Uh, but, but he's standing over there and she said, turns over around to him and said, uh, we got to go. We got to get the stuff. We got to get out of here. And the stuff is basically, basically her products. Her orders. Yes. She don't play with her orders. You order. She sends. She delivers. Some people that got business, when people order, thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, when they order, when their customers order, you don't get your products. You don't get nothing. You get a lie. You get a statement of a lie. And then you see them pulling up in a, with a chauffeur. I think that, I can't remember. Was that a Rolls Royce or something? Or Bentley, one of them, she's pulling up in and he's opening the door for her. Your money just went to that. Okay? Your money just went to her filling more orders for, for uh, the retailers because she can't get it moved or done without your money. But you didn't get your products. Allegedly, that's just my opinion. And remember, everything is alleged, but that's just my opinion. You didn't get nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And you are you still waiting? If you're still waiting for your products, just let me know. Let, let me know. Just just put a put put a uh an emoji, put a, a a shipping box, you know, the boxes, or just put a box in the uh in the chat for me. That means you're still waiting on that box, that shipment, your products from other people. I'm not talking about Melanie, because we know she get her stuff out. Mel, Mel is a great businesswoman, okay? Let that be clear. She knows what, he, what she's doing. She knows uh, how to keep a customer. You deliver. She knows what she's doing. She was doing this before the show. The show that make her, she made the show. She got, she got a... Uh, uh, Huntsville on the map. They didn't put Huntsville on the map. She put Huntsville on the map. It was her idea that was pitched to CK, and he took it the wrong way. They need to let her get, get back, and they need to get rid of all those, uh, all those weigh me downs. All those ones that not that's using fake storylines. Let her run, run it, and you know somebody just some people just got too much pride. You want they want to suppress a woman just because they can. Uh, Linda Gamble said, yes, I saw it on her live. Thank you, uh, Linda. Yes. Oh, you did. Wasn't that the funniest thing? Oh, I loved it. I loved it. And then she got in. She They threw the stuff in the back of the U-Haul, and then she jumps in. But did you see how she was dressed? She was dressed for the part. Yes. She wasn't dressed with no uh, church shoes going to uh, church shoes on that didn't match the dress or go with the dress. She had on her boots, her boots. Like, you got to play the scene. If you're gonna play the scene, that's what uh, they, they be doing, playing the scene, but they never come correct playing the scene. You're gonna play the scene, do it right. Dressing character, cause that, that was she was doing, a lie. So she dressed, dressed in character. They be on TV, Shooting their storyline and not even dressed in character and don't even have the story, a real storyline. That's just a make me up. <laughs> oh, yes, just my opinion. Let me see what I may may said here. Uh, uh, my daughter called me two in the morning, said this guy was date, uh, 
this is the guy she was dating, kicked her door in. Ooh, she took uh, took sleeping medicine, but she heard something. I asked her, did she have her, uh, what is this, peacemaker with her? She said no. Wait, she said no. She um, she didn't want to uh, pal him. This is still for me. I pal him. I uh, hit, uh, him. I told her if it was me, he would have been gone, gone. And I made sure I told him that I didn't play about my daughter. Oh, thank you, Miss May May. Yeah, he would let let a fool kick my door in. Oh Lord, you're justified. Yes, you are. When a, a person know you don't play, play, whether you're a man or a woman, you don't play about your kids, they come correct then. Or they make sure they go the other way. The cars go flying down the down the road. Sometimes the wrong way because they be in such a hurry to get out of there. They don't care which way they go. They're just trying to get out of there. Yes, you're right about that. Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Y'all got me rolling. Uh let me see, uh, succeeding to uh, those I know in this area own their uh, warehouse, like Lester's. Uh, they have two locations. Oh, my God. One uh, where chemicals made and uh, the, um, what is this? The uh, Miller Essentials or Essentials have warehouse in the area, too. Yes, that's what I was saying, succeeding to. Like, if you call yourself what, 17 million or whatever millions you got or 14 million, 10 million? Why you uh, rent a warehouse, then you can't pay and then you got to move to another location and then you can't even, I, I don't know, just my opinion, it's just my opinion. I think the reason why you don't have your name up on the building, you're trying to hide. You don't want nobody to know where you are. You ain't put nothing on the door. You got paper up to the windows. You must be trying to hide. Just my opinion, and so allegedly. But that seems like a sneaky move. You don't want nobody to know where you're going because then you don't want nobody to know where they can pick up their money or collect some money. That's just me. I'm not just allegedly. Who, my Lord? Let me see. Let me see. Sexy mama says, May May, sorry to hear that. Pray she's okay. We are due. I think sex, uh, I think uh, she, she teaching her daughter to protect herself. Because remember, Mel said she never felt protected in her marriage. And there's so many different ways you have to feel protected. Like one, like May May said. You got to take that pow pow. Sometimes have that pow pow on you. But yes, you do have to feel. Melanie never felt protected in her marriage because she that sorry excuse. Just because you can dress them up and make them look like somebody, that don't mean they somebody, and that don't mean they got a sense in their, their brain cells. You can see his brains is full of rocks. Just like side chick brings a bunch of rocks. Okay? They don't go anywhere. They can't function. Rocks can't do anything. So, no, she never fell. But I do believe <clears throat> with her life now, she feels protected. Okay? Not that she got somebody big and bad protecting her, but if she do, kudos. But she feel protected in whatever way, but you can tell the way she's moving. But right now, she have to move in. And I pray that she still got security with her. Because when a person has lost everything, and the one person that they want back would not reciprocate whatever they want back to them, they get, I'm not a psychiatrist. I just go off what I see and what I know. From TV, maybe. I don't know. But like I said, I'm not a doctor. 
psychiatrist or anything. I'm not even a medical field or nothing, but I'm just going off what I see. They get crazy. They lose their mind. Like I said, you got a mind full of rocks. These are jungle rocks, big rocks, boulders up in there. And he can't get the one person attention and get that person back. And that person ain't coming back to them. That person is moving on, very successful, doing everything that he didn't do. And she's doing it on her own. She's happy. People love her. That's too much. That's too much for him to bear. When they get like that, you got to remember, brain full of rocks, you, you do crazy things. Think about all the crazy things they ain't came up with and helped them took stuck on the wall. None of that stuff. So, of course, you may, you have to watch your back. That's why we all, as millimeters, we have to watch, keep our eyes open. People say, why do we watch? We have to. Put that third eye up there. Put those two eyes in the back of your head. You have to watch. You have to pay attention. You have to pay attention to what's going on so you can make sure we're watching for her. We're watching her. We're watching to protect the kids. Mel, she didn't ask us to do anything. We're doing it because we see what's right. We're, we see what's right. It wasn't right when the whole cast, everybody picking on you. It's not right when the whole cast and the producers, everybody is picking on your family. They don't protect you. They don't protect your kids. They don't pick. And then, then they dis, distance your family off the show, your mother off the show. But they can bring every racket street street gutter on the show that can't even talk. We still don't know what she's talking about. We have to put it together in pieces. We have to rewind the, the video or the tape to hear what, try to figure out what she, she's saying. And it takes maybe hundreds and thousands of people putting the pieces together and say, oh, this is what she said. Because you know, not everybody speak that language. Not everybody speaks like that. But we got one person that finally figured out what she be saying. Because he rewinds the tape. Bop, bop, blah, 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 and I, we give him all the credit. She finally got into school. Her and that dusty daughter. Finally got to school. More than two days, I hope. I hope more than two days. Okay? Let me see. Uh, let me go and see. Uh, let me see. Uh... Uh, May May said, thank you, ladies, with a heart. May May, the popo even asked her, did she have a, um, this is a peacemaker, and they told her to, to use it. Peacemaker, that's what we're talking about. Peacemaker, we're talking about peace, peace, peace. That's what we're talking about, guys. And if you got peace, your whole body is protected. Okay, thank you, uh, Miss uh, Crawford, Phyllis. May you have to protect yourself a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Whoo! Yes, we do. Uh, uh, so scene two at sexy mommy, uh, mommy. Uh, he knows his pocket contains twenty five dollars and not. 250K. Oh, yes. <laughs> he didn't get that 250K that he was asking for. <laughs> she said, not, I don't know what she said, but I think she said, hell to the no, no. He tried to get money from every, every woman he see. And he's, he trying to act like a pimp. You know how they do with their women. He don't even qualify. <laughs> what is Knickerbockers on? With his two tight suits and no socks. He can't, that, no, you ain't getting no money from her. And the woman that bought the land from, you see, she's gone. After she's calling herself a bonus mom and they did not even ask Melanie back here permission for it. 
Let me make sure y'all see. See, Melanie back there. Did not get her permission. You see, she gone now, right? Yes, yes, yes. Let me, uh, and uh, scene two, in 2014, uh, Mel's owner, uh, no, mission mission owner, state, uh, started in her home, now just seven plus years later, sold to Procter & Gamble for $1.6 billion. Ooh, Lord, 2014. That haven't been that long ago. Oh, my Lord. Ooh, look. Thank, that is a <clears throat> great point, um, May May. That's what uh, they want uh, for you to depend on them, but they don't have shit to depend on. If it wasn't for her and her hustle, she wouldn't have anything for her and her children. That is a hundred. That's check mark. Thank you. That's true. That is true. They want he wanted her to depend on him, but he can't even depend on himself. He can't even take care of himself. He don't even take care of none of the kids he got. Melanie takes care of her kids, and who's taking care of that side kid? I don't know. I think everybody in Huntsville is taking care of that kid. Y'all tax dollars help take care of her lazy butt. No job and her kid. And probably then her little money probably helped him taking care of him. You see how that vicious cycle is? That's him. Okay? Just my opinion. My opinion is going to be allegedly. Okay? Greta Lee, thank you uh, for coming into the chat, Greta. Uh, let me see. Hi, hi, Pinky, late to the chat. You're just fine. You're just fine. Um, we've been drinking coffee and Probably half of us is probably still in pajamas. If we're not, we're, we're here. Okay, let me uh, see. Um, Geneva Harrison, thank you uh, for coming into the chat. Hi and great, uh, great Lee. I'm not squinting because I'm trying to look. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, let me see. Everything Martel does is going to fail. You're right, Greta Lee. And I, we can see it for ourselves. Everything he did touch so far has failed. And everything he's going to touch that he hasn't touched yet is probably more likely. And I would say, in my opinion, my personal opinion, my opinion only, is going to fail. Like I said earlier, I don't know whether you heard me, everything he touched, he's going to fail until he do right. Until he do right by his ex-wife, Melanie Rogers. Everything he touches is gonna fail. Now I'm not a preacher either, and I'm I'm not a psychiatrist to say everything is gonna fail. But to me, it's gonna fail, and it's already everything else have failed already. Do you see that soup line? Oh, thinking about fail. Let me just ask you: Did you all know that uh, with uh, what's his name, the uh, designer? Uh, if somebody can put the name of that designer, I forgot his name. Um, oh, uh, suit designer. I can't remember his name right off the top of my head. Dream Girl, Green, Dream Girl, uh, 2872. Thank you for uh, coming into the uh, chat. And and uh, Linda Gamble saying hello to Greta, but thank you, Cecine, too. Greta Lee, such a classy name. Oh, and you got gift boxes. Thank you. Okay. Janetta Boyd. Miguel Wilson. Thank you. That's who. Thank you. And everything is alleged. And this is just my opinion, my opinion only. And this video is just for education and entertainment purposes for me and for my chat. Chatters here. But uh, you're right. Miguel Wilson. I'm just going to call him Miguel. Okay. There is a lot of Miguel's out here, okay? But anyway, you don't see that's if that suit line supposed to be making him money, right? The man came to him, pitched the suit line. He's supposed to be giving a hundred thousand dollars, right? I don't see that money. I don't think he gave any money, and if and I don't think that suit line went anywhere. 
And let me just tell you, it wasn't a cute suit line either. It looks like somebody in making suits for their uh, 10 year old. The jackets up too high. The pants, some he wore his little pants cut off at the knees and showing his dusty feet like he always do. The other men, he was, uh, they look even in the suits that supposed to be designed for him, they look better in the suits than he did because he looked like a stone head uh, rocks, pushing rocks out of his head. He didn't look good at all. Now you see what a man should look like in a suit when you see the other man, because he looked like he, let me see. I'm not going to say it. Um, let me see. A scene uh, two. She attract, uh, she attended my church. It's pronounced, uh, pronounced by E, but uh, spelled missionally. Missionally, uh, she was a nurse started in her home. She attended, oh my God, okay. Okay, dream uh, girl. Uh, hey, uh, Miss Pinky, glad I caught the live. Hi, everybody. Make sure you all say hi to uh, dream girls. Uh, dream girl. Uh, let me see. Let me see, see, see too. You're so funny. Uh, She's saying, uh, get a, uh, Greta Lee saying, to scene two, you're so funny. Uh, May May, uh, good morning, dream girl. Linda Gamble, hello, dream girl. Oh, you're getting a lot of shout outs, Miss Dream Girl. Okay. Uh, yes, the M Miguel Wilson uh, collection, he told Martel 250K. Oh, 250K. So, how are you going to get 250K if you ain't got 100K? How are you going to get 100K if you ain't got half of that? How are you going to get anything if you probably ain't even got $1,000 in your uh, in your account? But you said you're worth, um, when I pulled you up, uh, I think doing a live I did, that you was worth what? $10 million? So if you, but you're not, that's, that's got to be a made up, allegedly, in my opinion, because if you are, you should have been able to pay that money. You wouldn't have to help nobody to uh, do a suit line for you. You'd be doing your own suit line. Okay. <laughs> Good point, Cecile, too. Um, sexy mama, I believe that was just a storyline. Okay, see there, we get the wheels turning in my head too. You're probably right, because everything they do is a made, make up, is a made up. They making it up as they go, and it ain't making no sense. <laughs> oh, Lord, thank you. Uh, he looked like the clown that he is. Yes, he is, Miss May May. I, everybody said he looked like a clown, you know? He is a clown. He's doing clown moves. He looks like a clown. He's looking aged. He in aged 10 years. I've been saying this since I've been looking at that face. He in aged 10 years in less than three years. 10 years. I hate to see what he's going to look like in the next three years. Lord. You know, ben, that's a 20 year, he'll be aging like 15 or 20 years then. Oh my God, that's rap, rapidly. Oh my God, over time. That's that stress. Somebody must be hitting him because them eyes be puffed up big and black eyed and that face on, even the head is not shiny no more. The way he dressed don't shine no more. The way he wears his clothes, I don't know where he's getting his clothes from now. Back in the day, some he had left over, just allegedly. Uh, what I said, the suit, uh, uh, the suit my tail had on looked like a tablecloth Linda Gamble. Yeah, it did. It was, uh, what do you call it? Was it plaid? It looks like tablecloths or those, uh, tablecloths or those, uh, table mats that you put in front of each chair when somebody, this, you're right. It did. Oh my God. I probably can find something that looks like that in my house. 
oh my God. And I can pace them all over me and pretend like uh, I'm walking that, walking down the runway with that suit on. Oh, I'm going to try that. Okay. Uh, Grand Rising and Dream Girl. That's from Renetta uh, Elliott. Uh, let me see. So scene two at May May. She was in Target, Walgreens, CVS, and Walmart in beauty supply stores. It's gonna, it, it, it got too, uh, too big, too fast. So sales was, uh, selling was smart. Mm -hmm. Now, who was that? Selling was smart. Was that the uh, Stormy products? I'm asking, and if so, or uh, put it down in the chat for me so I can make sure. Thank you, uh, May May. That's why he had in his mind that he was going to hustle Mel out of it. Uh, in my opinion, yeah, he's trying to hustle Mel out of all of it. Yeah, he's trying to hustle Mel out of Sugar Mama. Products. He's trying to hustle mail out of everything, <laughs> everything. Yeah. So he can uh, take care of that dusty uh, side chick to keep her quiet. Yeah. But, but Mel is the brains. This woman is the brains. And she went on from that dusty man to become unknown worldwide. She, she, she tours. She goes on her tours singing. She, uh, products sold all over, all over the world. Everybody's ordering. People, we don't even, I don't know. I, I, I mean, this Mel is just doing the thing. She carrying those bags. And she got those bags. Uh, oh, I wish I had, uh, oh, a bag of money. She's carrying those bags of money. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, Yes. Yeah, and they just getting envious and mad. They just so mad. They can, they smelling like Tisha. They so mad. Oh, that's uh, alleged that Tisha smells. But uh, they smelling like Tisha. That they so mad allegedly. In my opinion, though. Oh, maybe it's at the five and dime stores. Oh my God! So scene two. Readily, the designer collection was. Uh, Dresses, shoes, bags, and yes. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let me see. So you see, too, Gamma, you are right. Tablecloth. Yes. Uh, Sleeton, too, said, Atlanta Gamble, you are right. It is a tablecloth. It looks like a tablecloth. Yes. Um, at the expo, his suit was something from the 70s with that fly away lapel. Oh my God. Yes. Um, go back and look. He did look kind of, that suit didn't look right. I, I, I did. I did. I, I looked at it when he was talking to uh, her brother. When he walked, you know, and uh, wait now, we, we're going to, uh, I'm going to do this here. I'm going to pretend like I'm Marcus, right? You know how he looked up at my hotel? He had sucking on the straw. That suit he had on. Look at Marcus and then look at uh, that dirt bag, that snake. Look at the difference in the way they was dressed. Marcus needs to tell everybody where he got that jacket from. Yes. Have him make more because he wore that jacket. They'll be flying off the shelf. Somebody, whoever, he needs to say, I will, I'm, I'm going to model your jackets again. Uh, just name them after me. Just make a lot of them and put my name. Yes. Yes. That'll show Martel. Just him walking around, having on a jacket, standing in front of him, doing this here. Fly off the shelves. Sell out in one day. Be sold. So, yeah, that, that man will pass out. He will pass out if that he see that. Oh, my God. You know, narcissistic people, they, they can't take it. But, yeah, he will pass out. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice. Did y'all just hear that? 
I'm losing. <clears throat> okay. But anyway, um, let me see. Oh, I just love that scene though. But that suit, it did look cranked up, like from the 70s. That big lapel on it. And I don't know. Let's be clear, guys. Melanie was the one that taught this man and was dressing him. Remember, she picked him up from the gutter and brought him into her circle, her life, taught him how to talk right, taught him how to, uh, well, he probably knew how to talk better than Wanda, but how to talk civilized and not like you're a hood rat on the street, you know, because all he knew is how to talk to street okay but she taught him how to dress she cleaned him up she gave him an image okay so he don't know how to dress so since she have left him she left him let's be clear she left him he don't know how to dress on his own he don't know how to make decisions on his own. He don't know how to speak in public on his own. He don't know how to know what will make good businesses on his own. Everything he, he have done failed. His dressing, the way he dressed fails every time. Even with a professional designer, fails. He still don't know how to dress. That tablecloth on, that tablecloth suit with the Hella push your pants? Yeah, fail. And that expo dress look he had on? Fail. The man need to take <clears throat> clues from Marcus. Help Marcus to tell you how to dress. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You don't like Marcus. Marcus, oh, no, you can't. You don't want your kids around him. But then you tell him you need to support your sister with his support. Like Marcus said, what support? What support? Oh, let me do it. What support? You didn't want his support before. You was docking his support. Now you're talking about his support. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mm, let me see. Let me see. Oh, uh, there's yes, it was you could tell him he was not shy. Oh yeah, you couldn't tell him he wasn't shy. But somebody had to tell him. Oh, he must have saw it. He got to have seen that in any lives he do or something. But his pick me's would tell him, man, you was the best dressed there. Man, you was this. And let me tell you one thing. Melanie has an effect. Let me just say that. Has an effect on people. Kid me not. She has an effect on people. When people see her walk into the room, she is the room. Because they all get nervous. Everybody get nervous when she walks into her, the room. Because she knows her business. She knows how to dress. Melanie and became a star. She's the star of the show. The show is not nothing without her. And she knows business and she knows how to dress. Everybody's trying to copy her look. Melanie got her look all of her own and everybody wants it. Letitia tried to copy her hairstyle. Let me show you this hairstyle. I saw it on her live, and when I saw it, I said, I love it, okay? This is the, um, wait, let me just go back one. Okay, this one here, but I want you all to see when uh, her head is turned to the side. Let me go back just for a minute and let you see when she had her head turned to the side. Let me see, can I push it back right there? Oh, wait, let me push it back just a little more. And you're going to see her. Look at it from the, uh, let me try to see. Look at it from the side. When she turned her head to the side, 
She got two big braids going down and it's flawless. Oh, I, wait, you have to see it from the side. That and the two big, thick braids on each side and it part, two big braids. Now, you know who's going to copy that look? Let me just tell you. I don't have to tell you. I don't have to tell you. Everybody already know who's going to copy that look. Letitia. Letitia is going to have her hair like that now. Because that, when I say that, that is hot, that is hot. That's a, Melanie has a style on her own, but she have her stylist. She have a hairstylist. She have a, uh, someone that, uh, her uh, designer. Yes. She have all that. So she knows she's going to be looking good, but also she knows what looks good on her. She, she wears things. Look at the clothes that she wears when she be modeling in front of the house, when she comes out and be modeling these outfits. They fit her. They look well. She look well dressed. She looks beautiful in them. They're not, she's not hanging all out. Her clothes is not two size small. You, you get what I'm saying? Like Letitia, her clothes is too small. Like uh, Martel, his clothes is too small, allegedly, in my opinion. Those clothes, Martel wears clothes from, from, from the kitty store. Uh, Letitia j just thinks she's smaller than what she is. So she buy clothes of way too small and she be popping all out of them. If you don't believe me, go to look at one of my videos. I think uh, she was sitting, uh, I made a short on her about those clothes. Okay. Oh, let me see. Maybe I tell you one thing. I may tell my brother to stand down, but they don't play when it comes to their three uh, sisters. We can't curse each other out, but but you better not get out of line with none of us. Oh, Lord. Don't play. Montel letting everybody play with his ex-wife and his kids. He let the cast men play with him. He let production play with him. He let CK play with him. He let uh, uh, side bird brain play with him. He let uh, Belinda play with him. He let everybody play with him. And he even played with him himself. That's not playing a good game. They're playing the nasty game. And somebody need to check him. Not that I, I mean, I mean, just give him a check mark. You know, the green check mark that you check. You did good. No. Okay. I don't mean that kind of check, but if you want to call it that kind of check, or maybe a checkbook, give them a checkbook if you want to. Or tear a check out of the checkbook and give it to Yeah, if you want to think that, yeah. But he, he needs to be checked, okay? And I'm not putting nothing out there. I'm just saying what I'm just saying. That's just what I heard. You know, somebody uh, said that. I'm just saying what I heard. No, I don't believe that, but it's just my opinion. I heard that from somewhere somewhere down the Huntsville streets. I think one day I probably was driving down Huntsville streets and I heard that. That's all, allegedly. Okay. But uh, Greta Lee said, amen to scene two. I don't do uh, projects. If you don't come together all already, I'm not fixing you up for the pickup. Pick me. Oh, Lord. Shade, shade, shade. I love it. I love it. I better stop doing that. I'm going to have to be taking a pain medicine if I keep clapping. Uh, but anyway, yes, you all are right. I love you. We ain't got time to be fixing nobody up. Mel said, not her. Not no more. When she found a man, that man is going to be put together, done, cooked, and ready. Yeah, and intelligent. And, and smart, he ain't gonna be coming. That she got to drag him up and help him get dressed. No, no, no. She wants somebody on her level. If you're not on her level, you better step back and go play, 
Go go play in the sandbox somewhere. Go play in that sandbox. You ain't got time. Okay. And let me just see. Oh, uh, Greta Lee said, not the Pella Pusher pants. Yes, those was Pella Pushers. Um, who would make a suit line for a grown man in Pella Pushers? You know, but sometime over in England and stuff, you see kids walking around when they're dressed up or going to church sometime. Uh, uh, or years ago, uh, little kids sometime. You know, especially when it's hot in the summertime. Um, you can get for Easter of suits and stuff here in the States too. Uh, they have the little uh, short pants with the suit jacket for the little uh, kids going to church on Easter and stuff and, and, and things like that. Yeah, those are kids. A little, you know, you got your little two-year-old, a little four-year-old or, or, or something. And they got the look for Easter. They got the little uh, beautiful Easter suit on and the pants are short pants with the suit. Yeah, that's what he was wearing. Yes. Pillow pushers and a suit. Who taught that, told that designer to make some pillow pushers? No, I had, just my opinion, my opinion. I think it's nothing but Martel had to do something like that. Because that don't make no sense. When I said don't make no sense, it don't make no sense. It didn't even look like it made sense. It made him look so so stupid. Can I say that word? Stupid. I'm, I'm calling my cup looking st stupid. Cup, you're stupid. But yeah, he was looking so stupid. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I tell you. Uh, Succeeding too said, Greta Lee, exactly. No after school. Pro oh, I already read that. Uh, after school projects, may may some use that uh, electric tape to uh, piece together a man. I open up on that one. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Straight up, Mel is classy and a boss. Thank you, Greta Lee. She is. She's classy. Look at her. If Keisha will look good in that dress, she'll have one made. And, and, and but, but you see that dress, right? Mel, that dress fit her. That dress fit flawlessly falls on her. Keisha had a dress too tight. Yeah, that dress would be too tight on you. You, have, Keisha wear that dress, she's gonna get it two or three or four times smaller. Keisha, not every dress gonna look right on everybody. That's why they got so many dresses around in the world. You wear what's gonna look good on you. Just because Mel can wear it, that doesn't mean you can wear it. Just because that hairstyle looks good on Mel, it may not look good on your big head. Okay? It may not go with your face because you look like your mama. It may not go good. Mel can wear that. You don't take her style and make it into yours. You make your own style. If you are what you call a multimillionaire, why don't you have your own style? I never seen or heard of a multi-millionaire adopting to somebody else's style. They adopt to their own style. They have people adopting to their style. So what are you doing? Are you a pick me too? Um, Mamie said, I don't care if she's doing this to get her fans' attention, but she looks like a fool doing it. Yes, I agree with that. She, yeah, when she do get, if she do get Mel's fans attention, guess what? They see how she looks in it and they say, that's a hot mess. She looks a hot mess. Straight up. Mel is the boss and she is classy. Straight up. Oh, that's uh, so scene two. That's uh, that's try. That's try. Uh, we have to know what looks good on us, so we're not wearing smalls and mediums. Yeah. 
I think the teacher something sometimes thinks she's in a small or a medium. I don't know. I think I need to uh, make a, uh, a a short on her, letting her know she's not a small or medium. I think I can do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a uh, short, uh, letting her know she's not a not a small baby. Okay. Oh, oh, now that means she's gonna. Tr I hope she don't try that. I'm. I'm not male. I'm just pinky. So you don't do what I do. Cause I wish I don't have what male have. Male got it going on, girl. So you don't don't hear what I'm saying, okay? Uh, let me see. Tish looks. Uh, Tisha looks like Tisha looks in the mirror and sees herself first season. So season two, you do. She is a lot. She was smaller the first season with all her uh, Puritan dresses and straight from uh, what uh, what's that show used to call the uh, uh, oh I forgot uh, per, uh, prairie dresses uh, I, uh, little house on the prairie is it little house on the prairie I think it is uh, she's not one of those. Well, that's what she used to be for a season. Now she, she, she's all, oh Lord, I don't know. Somebody help me. Help me out. Help me out here. Uh, allegedly and allegedly and allegedly. You are right. Everything we said is alleged. Okay? Alleged. And it's my opinion and um, opinions of everybody that's in this line. Okay, just our opinions. And this video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. Yeah. Okay. No more uh, marrying for potential ladies. No more marrying for potential ladies. Is you saying that he have found the one now since he was at the the uh, pastor party, the party, the birthday party, the one he was hooked up with and showing affection to, like he don't do nobody else. Was he, he and that's his storyline now, I think. That's, I think he's going to make her into his storyline because if not, he, you're about to lose your job. You're about to lose your job. Now, you know how I did. You're about to go to jail. Now, you're about to lose your job. I think so. I think so. Uh, uh, Tisha said Kimmy got the benefits with Maurice. If, if his credit score was 504 or similar, what did Kimmy get a... Uh, a gag prize? Mm -hmm. I thought his score was lower than that. I thought it was in the 400. 500? That means he went up a little. Mm. What benefits did she get? She didn't get no benefits. He can, she can, uh, he getting benefits from her because remember, he don't work. He don't work. None of those men work in my opinion, allegedly, but none of them work. Tell me one job that only person really works on the show is this woman here, Mel. She works. She's a hard worker. She's a successful worker. She knows what she's doing. She knows how to run her operation. Remember, she was running that operation, her operation before the show even started. That's why she pitched that story, the story, to CK because she had a successful business. Okay? Before the show even started, why would you pitch a show about a, you're running a successful business and you are, you're worth millions and you didn't have it? She had it. Before the story, story Love and Marriage, Huntsville. Huntsville didn't make her, she made Huntsville. Let me see my coffee. 
okay. Yeah, it's cold, but it says, uh, oops, sorry, I'm eating breakfast, drinking coffee, and misspelling true uh, to laughing out loud. Breakfast is good. You're eating pancakes too? Succeeding too. I need to have my husband in here. To... Do I need to call my husband and tell him I want some pancakes? I will do it. He's outside somewhere. I need to get on this phone and let him know. You're eating pancakes and I'm just drinking coffee. Do I have to? I need to let him know when he comes in. But you know what? I did tell him I want oatmeal this morning. I wanted oatmeal. I told him I wanted, I said that last night. I told him, wake me up at seven and I want oatmeal this morning because he asked me what did I want to eat. And I told him last night, because he asked me last night what I want for breakfast, and I said oatmeal in the morning. Uh, and then this morning, when he wakes me up, he asked, he tells me that uh, he was uh, getting hash browns and he was going to McDonald's for, for a baby girl, okay, to get up some breakfast because she wanted some McDonald's breakfast, right? So he asked me, did I want some? No, because I wanted, and I told him, I still want my oatmeal. So they didn't have McDonald's breakfast this morning. Normally he fixed breakfast. Because yesterday morning when I wake up, because I woke up, ugh, did I wake up late? I don't know. Well, to me it's late. I don't know to anybody else. But uh, I come to the kitchen and baby girl in here is in the kitchen. She's waiting on her breakfast. Yeah, you know, he's cooking breakfast and everything. And I think I did tell y'all I was eating breakfast and my breakfast was cold. It was grits and an egg. And he gave me my coffee. It was something else with it. I can't remember. And uh, I didn't. I, I, it was cold, but I ate some of it. But it was cold. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing like you at Pinky with strawberry toppings. Oh my God, you're gonna make me jealous. Oh. I'm gonna have to call my. Y'all gonna make me call. Y'all wanna. He's outside. You're gonna have. I know he's gonna fix me something when he comes in. He's gonna fix my food when he comes in. Oh, y'all got, oh my God. Let me see. Ladies, I married men that think, uh, let me see. Uh, exactly. Some ladies marry men, they think have potential and they go into build a man mode. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. Build a man mode. Oh my God. You know what? You heard it here first. Whoever just coined that, you all need, you need to put that on a t-shirt. Whoever just coined that, build a man mode. Oh my God, that's, that's a good one. You know Mel, she, like she took her shirts and said, God said go on it because God told her to go, leave that dusty. Well, he didn't say, God wouldn't say dusty, regularly, dusty man, but yeah, God said uh, go, she left and is it on her t-shirt? She makes bag money off. She makes she enough to deliver in a big house, drive her nice cars, got a mom a nice car. She got cars, uh, take care of her kids, put them in school, feed them everything, and takes care of her team. Cornet. Build a man mode. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, Lord. Cornet girl, you better take it right now and write it down so you won't forget it. Cornet, just me, just me thinking out loud. Um, uh, she had the pilgrim dress on uh, first season. Thank you for letting me know. Pilgrim dress, season two. Thank you. I knew it was some type of dress, pilgrim dress. 
that ugly, oh Lord. Now she went from pilgrim dress to uh, wearing a dress that she's falling all out of, just, just all of this, just falling all out of the dress. And, and, and two, oh Lord, we ain't gonna talk about it. We ain't gonna talk about it. Let me see. Uh, I'm doing like you, Pinky. Okay, no, I admit it. I'm cooking pancakes too. Everybody had these pancakes. Don't. Why do I see all these pancakes? Oh my God. Strawberries everywhere. Oh my God. Hash browns. Add bacon. Are y'all just trying to get to me because? Because y'all know I'm not having that right now. Maybe I should have my husband just come on in and just start cooking my food right now. But I wanted oatmeal. Like, I'm just, let me just do oatmeal. Okay? Let me just do my oatmeal. And I could show you, but I can't pick it up. I know what he's going to do. I can't uh, pick him up. I can take my... Uh, Take it around and show you what, uh, oh, but I don't want to drop it. Uh, I don't want to drop it because I almost dropped it this morning, putting it over here. Uh, no, I'm going to leave them over there. Oh, they're so big. A big wall. That big. He got two of them sitting over there on the island. Yes, he do. Uh, and everything. But guys, let's just say our Melanie have, who surpass everybody on the show. Everybody. She was surpassed them do, when the show started. Remember? Remember when they first started? Uh, they was walking down the driveway. I think it was, yeah, it was had to be her driveway because neither one of them had a driveway, right? Walking down her driveway and all of them was walking and she was in the middle of the driveway and they had each couple on the side and that bird, that that dusty ankle pillow pushing fool clown snake in the grass devil in the pink suit allegedly was walking beside her yeah and she was walking she was the only one dressed oh she was dressed fabulous Kimmy was dressed like she's going to church not there's nothing wrong with it everybody needs to dress when they go to church okay uh, Leticia was dressing like a pilgrim, but she tried to dress up, but she still was in that pilgrim mode. Uh, they tried, but Melanie outshined them all. And the first, when they was walking, when the show very first episode came on, everybody know that scene, but she have took, she left that dusty man with nothing because he would not give her nothing. Plus, allegedly, he took the money out of the checking account. The seven out of their account. I don't know whether it was checking, say, 17000 I think it was 17000 It could be more or less, something like that. And refused to give it back. Refused to let her kids have their beds. Refused to give her her clothes. Because she aired his butt out by letting people know on social media, he got a baby. Or a baby coming, or whatever, but it pissed him off. Okay, but did she? Of course, she needed it at the time, but she made do. Okay, and my thing, I think it was air mattress that she went and got, but she made do, and she took what she know, and her bad business savvy sense to make a rock into a mountain. She took a little dirt pile and made it into a mountain. She's making a legacy for her kids, herself and her family. She and her cousin owned the, uh, bought the gas station that was, that they used to go to uh, as a child. We used to go to that same gas station or that little uh, front store, whatever you call those stores or whatever it was, store. You used to go there as a kid. Now they own the place. 
They own that. They own it. She's not about giving her money to, to that fool to take her a side chick that's called Coleslaw that take the name as her name now, allegedly in my opinion, and give it away to somebody like that. She's making a legacy for herself and her kids. And I won't say she's making it. She have made it. She have made it. When you can go and buy something that you used to go to as a child and you own that now, you, you, got, you got land. Your family have land. Your family supports you. Your family don't throw you under the bus. They support you. They love you and your kids and they protect you. Something you didn't get from that bird brain. Uh, well, not bird brain. Yeah, he's a bird brain. That rock scattered brain of his. Something you didn't get from that rusted, dusty man. You made it. You have made it. We are women are proud of you. We are millimeters are proud of you. We love you. We love your kids. We are here for you. And we're not going to let that dusty, that scalabrain that he got and those scalabrain pygmies or those women take it away from you. Okay? Guys, I said my piece. Let me see what you all got before we leave. Pink, uh, Pinky, yesterday, so seen to yesterday, you had your breakfast yesterday. Today, I have hash browns and ham and coffee. I'm, you're going to make me call my husband. You're going to, let me, let me call him and tell him. I am getting ready to put him on the phone. Oh, Lord, y'all. Let me, let me get him on the phone and tell him, I here he got me online with no food. Where is he? Yes, I am. He got me on live with no food. No food. Uh, hey, husband. Guess what? Yeah. Everybody on live, they got breakfast. They got pancakes. They got strawberries, bacon, eggs, hash browns. And I'm, I just got coffee. And my coffee is cold. And I'm letting them know you can't. I don't have my oatmeal. What did I tell you? Remember what I told you I want for breakfast this morning? Uh, oatmeal. Oatmeal, yeah. They got all this breakfast and I don't have any. Uh, so you, want me to fix you, you want me to fix you? Yeah, that would be nice. There, say, just, oh, let me see something. Uh, I'm going to turn the phone up. Tell them what you're going to fix me when you come in. I'm going to fix some oatmeal for breakfast this morning. See there? Now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. But you can finish doing what you're doing. Don't come Don't come in too early because I know you're out there working. He's out, uh, out on the property working. What you doing out there? Uh, working on the sprinklers. Working on? Oh, okay. He's working on the sprinklers. Oh, is that the, uh, the you're just redirecting the one, uh, ones? The one you was uh, okay. All right. Uh, All right. Say hi to everybody in the chat. Just say hi to him. Uh, hi everyone. Good morning. He said hi everybody and good morning. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. He's gonna fix me some oatmeal. <laughs> now I do. I'm gonna say I do love bacon with my oatmeal. I love bacon with my oatmeal, and I love biscuits with my oatmeal. Yes, I do. Buttery biscuits with my oatmeal. Now, let's get it straight. I don't just like any biscuit. I like buttery biscuits with my oatmeal, and I do love bacon, especially if I got some bacon. I'm, I'm, I'm betting a thousand if I got some bacon with my oatmeal. Yeah, so I'm going to have to tell him we got to do some bacon too. Do some bacon with it. Oh, yeah. He can do some biscuits. I just thought about some. Yeah, he can do the biscuits too. Okay, guys, let me see before we go. Let me see. Oh, what you say? You got margaritas? Wait now, Pinky, if you drink margaritas, 
save some watermelon for a watermelon margarita. My best friend and I did that. I'm not a margarita woman, but I will drink it if you give it to me. But I got two big ones sitting over here. Let me see. Can I uh, bring this thing around so I can show you my two? To, do you all want to see them? Just put a yes in the chat if you want to see. See my, and we got them. I know he's going to cut them up. One, he cut one at a, at a time up for me. And he uh, he got these yesterday. Uh, you all want to see them? If you want to, when we walk over there and because I try to carry it. Yes. Holly Rock says, yes. Holly Rock, I didn't even know you in the house, but you say yes. Okay. Okay. And so see, Margarita, but okay, let me go. Let me do this. Now, if I drop this thing, okay, let me try. Let me do my workout right, right quick. Uh, 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 uh. Now, I can carry it. Let me see. I'm trying to uh, get it so I can carry it. You know, mm -hmm. give me a second. I don't want to drop it. Oh, okay. I'm going to, uh, let me go around. I'm going around so I don't drop it. I'm putting both hands up under it. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, do this. Oh, I'm going to try to put this here down. Wait, here they are. Here. I'm going to try to uh, put this here down. Uh, here's one. Here's the other one. Uh-oh. I'm going to move this so I want to wait. Let me uh, do this so I don't drop it. I'm going to carry it this way. You see that? I got two of them. <laughs> wait. Huh, get a big better angle on this thing. Okay, did you see that? And guess who we got up here before we leave, guys? Can y'all, maybe the light is, Melanie, you see? yes, okay. Okay. Okay, guys, okay. I'm gonna tell my husband what you said, and we do have a lot of different drinks to make that. <clears throat> In the, uh, but we, I'm, I don't, uh, we're not, uh, my husband is not a drinker, but when he, only time he drinks is if we're out for dinner, he'll get a drink. And and not every time, but if we ever go out to dinner we with friends, he'll get a drink. But uh, we have a lot of alcohol in the house, but nobody drinks it. Those are when we uh, did parties before the C-19 happened, we did a lot of parties. Lots of parties in our home. And, you know, I'm, I'm talking about like 100 people, up to 100 people, 100 people or more in the house. And so and we would have, you know, uh, that's when, and I think we still we may have some, because I know we got a lot of uh, alcohol, but nobody drinks it and everything. We just don't drink. And the only thing I really drink, well, the only thing I drink besides uh, water, sparkling water and stuff like that is a, uh, what is it? Uh, Long Island iced tea. And I only do that when we go out for dinner. Uh, you know, I may ask for a Long Island iced tea, but not all the time, but uh, I do a Long Island iced tea and that's it. Uh, but I am going to try the margarita. I'm going to have my husband to fix one. And you know what? He doesn't know how, but guess what he's going to do? That great scientist brain. He's gonna, he's gonna figure, he's gonna uh, look it up. That's what he's gonna do. I tell everybody that's my great scientist. But anyway, um, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna look it up. That's that's his brain. Cause he, you know, how most people think with uh, common sense. He does. I always say he don't have common sense. He have all that brain. Uh, I don't know. But maybe he do have some now after all these years. But he never, he didn't have it when I met him. He was all up here. He's like, brainy, brainy, brainy man. I used to tell him, I'm not, he used to talk to me like I was uh, in a boardroom. Like I'm a, I used to tell him, I'm not some, I'm not, I don't work for you. <laughs> I'm not somebody working with you or for you. 
I'm new. He didn't, he didn't know how to talk normal. Um, it, it, this is the way he, you know. But anyway, guess what, guys? Thank you for being here. Let me see. Uh, don't hurt yourself fooling uh, with me. You're right. Don't hurt myself. You, you know what? I fell. That's how I got this. Okay. I, I um, hurt my uh, backside too. You're right. Don't hurt yourself. Because this morning when I got up, I told my husband, this whole side on here, this butt side, it hurts when I wake up in the morning. And it, it's better now. And a lot of times I pretend like I'm not hurt. When you see me, I'm not hurt. But soon as I'm, I'm, I'm going to take some medicine soon as uh, he uh, fix my food. Yeah. Uh, thank you. But don't hurt yourself. Oh, my God. That's that's uh, don't don't carry it. You, I almost dropped it. I'll bring it up over here. Uh, Holly Rock. Yes, I did. Um, to seem to, you all will enjoy these. I am. I'm going to have my husband uh, fix that. I am. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Enjoy the well and Hope they are good and sweet. They better be. He uh, gets them at Sam's Club. They better be. Well, I would say all this year, everyone we had has been great. Last summer, they was awful. Everyone we got was bad. It was a bad season. This season, ooh, they are so good. I I, I, eat, I think I eat one, at least eight watermelons every day. When I say every day, literally, I'm serious, every day. As a, as my snack, or I always do some every day, sometimes twice a day. Uh, he normally never buys one. He tends to buy two and three at a time, and he'll go back and get more or help some uh, brought in for me. He, he does it all the time, you know. Um, you know, we never buy one. Because, you know, if we cut that, if you cut that one, it's not good. Oh, Lord. I may have to act a fool. Okay, well, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm the same way with alcohol. It lasts a long time. I'm not a big drinker either. You're right. You're like me, Sassine, too. I do summer drinks like peach uh, what is that? Berlin's? Okay. Here are the uh, ingredients in the watermelon. Yes, let me... Uh, watermelon, vodka, we got that. I'm going to uh, just let my husband look at it. Yeah, look at it. Uh, I do summer drinks with peach. Uh, Pinky, do you do yogurt or Pilates? No, I wish I could. I tried a Pilates right right now. I'm not gonna lie. I did try Pilates for two days. It didn't work out. I think you have to have. I don't have. You have to. I don't know. Uh, why? I need it. I probably do need it. And I did try yoga with my uh, baby girl. Uh, we did. I went with her and we did hot yoga. I loved it. I did that one time or at least twice. I think it was once. I loved it. I love that. Oh my God. But I haven't been back. I need to do it. I know I need to do it, guys. I, I need to do one of them. Uh, get a message. Oh, got a message. Okay. Pinky, here are the, uh, okay, I got that. Thank you for the ingredients to us this evening, too. Uh, I love Pilates. It will build core strength and great for stretching. I do need some core strength. Yes, I do. Well, do some, but well, I do. I need some. I do. Because uh, I do. I just put it like that. Okay, Maymay, I'm back. Where, you, where did you go, Maymay? I didn't, oh, you had, did, uh, was that that, you had a call or a message or something? A message uh, for your core muscles, uh, <clears throat> my core muscles. Okay, wait, so see, I, I joined a hot yoga, yoga club uh, by me. It's 
24 hours, we use a code for 24-hour access. Oh, my God. Okay, my cousin came over. Okay, tell your cousin uh, I said hi. Wait a uh, guys, we are at our hour and and everything. And let me just uh, check the, uh, because let me just check. You know who I'm getting ready to uh, check on? Uh, you know, Black Titanic uh, last yesterday, remember, uh, she had a baby shower she went to and uh, for her daughter. And I need to. So what I'm going to do, because I, I don't know whether because I didn't want to call her last night and disturb her. Uh, but I just want to make sure uh, she's not. uh doing a live that we need to uh, jump in on. Okay. But uh, guys, I do and I enjoyed myself. And like I said, this is my first time doing this. And I see people do it, uh, but not the not the uh, screen, screen yard. I done that. Uh, that was, I did number seven on that. But this is my first time doing this here. And I... I enjoyed everybody's companies. I had fun, okay, because I hadn't had fun. So it seems like now when I do my coffee, I'll just do my coffee. We just do coffee together, okay? <laughs> I love, you know, I love drinking my coffee. We'll do, we'll do this coffee thing. We'll do this coffee thing together, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Now, let me just see. Have I missed anybody uh, Renetta L D Ellis, she said, "Have an awesome Sunday, Miss Pinky." Mods and chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, let me see. And May May, everyone, have a great day. You all, I enjoyed myself. You all have. I want you all to have a great day because I'm gonna have one. I'm just waiting on my husband to come and cook for me, and I'm gonna go lay back down for a while. Or or maybe uh, follow uh, somebody else on their uh, live. I'm going to get on, uh, take my laptop and lay in the bed and follow somebody else on their live this morning. See, uh, go support some of the other uh, content creators and bloggers, okay? And thank you all for, and we must do this again, okay? We're going to do it again, all right? And for any uh, new content creators out there uh, on if you all want to, you can uh, just put a, a one in the chat so I can make sure I uh, send all positive love to your channels and everything. That way I can make sure. Thank you, Susan, for uh, being here and being on my live and on my panel yesterday. I enjoyed it. We had a great time. And thank you, May May, as well for coming in this morning. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, uh, Linda Gamble. Uh, for coming in this morning, early and bright and sunshine. And let me see, uh, Janetta Boyd, thank you so much, everybody. And let me make sure I don't miss anybody. Uh, Holly Rock, uh, thank you also uh, for coming in on the chat this morning. And guess what? You know what? Let me just say this. You know how some people uh, have a <clears throat> be going live because I watch this person go live, right? This person go live all the time. And every time this person go live, I'm going to kick you out of my chat. I'm going to block you, block you, block you. Who do that? Who do that? Who do, who do that? Block, I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you. That's what they do. I think somebody need to take that away from that person. <sighs> okay. Um, Geneva Harrison, thank you for uh, being here this morning as well. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, Greta Lee, thank you, Greta Lee. Um, trying to make sure. I go, don't miss anybody, but everybody, thank you so much. And I, like I said, I had a fabulous time and everything. 
and we must do this again, okay? I would say same time, same bet station, but we can't do that. We, uh, Sexy Mama at 60, thank you uh, for dropping in as well. Uh, let me see. I think I did say uh, thank you to uh, Renetta uh, D. Elliott. I think I did. I'm not sure. But if I didn't, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And everybody, if I missed anybody, you know, I love you. And thank you all for uh, coming in and dropping. So we are going to go now because this is my first time doing this now. Let me. Let me. Oh, you end down at the bottom. Okay. You know, because I'm. this is my first time doing one of these, okay? So I see where it say in, that's what I'm going to do. And let me just say, um, let me just put this out. Thank you. And then I'm going to put my, uh, um, let me see what it let me. Okay. Thank you all. Okay. I just, let me see. I just said uh, a message out to all of you all. Thank you all with my heart and my prayer hands. Thank you guys. Okay. And we'll see each other. I, uh, I will be, I did drop a new video yesterday. I think I did last night. And I'm getting uh, ready to go ahead. I left uh, two of them was being processed, uh, but I'm going to drop those. Uh, uh, they're kind of funny anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and drop those guys. All right. And thank you, everybody, for joining me this morning. And I'm going to call my brother and V out. V, I'm calling you out. Where are you this morning? Yes, I am. She knows who I'm talking about. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Love you guys, and y'all have a good Sunday morning, okay? And I'm going to get my oatmeal. Y'all just made me jealous, got all that good food. And I, yeah, but I think I'm going to have bacon. I have my husband to fix me some bacon with my oatmeal this morning. Okay, guys, love you, love you, love you. And gradually say, wow, Pinky, you did a two-hour live. Impressive. Wait, let me just ask you, because I don't know. Do our, do uh, lives last two hours so I can be right? I want to be right because this is my first one like this. And is that wrong or is it right? Or do I need to scale it down or is it on target? Tell, tell me, guys. Great job at Pinky. Enjoy breakfast. I am uh, succeeding too. But you know, let me do Did uh, Gretely, is that too long? Or succeeding, is that too long? Or should I make it shorter? I'm waiting on you all uh, to tell me. So next time I know. Because I had to figure out where I'm going to end it at. It said in right down here. I was looking around. It was like, what do? Let me see. Just let me know. How how long do they normally last? Is it an hour or less or 30 minutes? I don't know. Somebody just put it in the chat so I know. So I... So I know, okay. May May said, uh, everyone have a great day, okay. But, okay, well, I try to, I didn't know, I, I got the talking and didn't even know it was two hours later. But thank you guys and love you guys, okay. Bye bye, let me see. You will get your watch time up to yes the seeding yes 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 you know i'm monetized though too i've been monetized since july july yeah yes i got monetized no yeah july was it july 5th yeah it was july 5th i think it was it was 4th of July that I met all the uh, requirements and goals for YouTube, July the 4th. And then two days later, so that makes July 6th, I was monetized again. Two days later, I was monetized. It says, um, Gretely, 
Uh, let me see. So scene two, you, okay. You will get your watch time up too. That's for scene. And Renata, Renata D. Elliott. I love those pink hearts. Girl, you, you right on time. I love my pink hearts. I love my hearts, guys. Uh, I love what I call a sea of hearts. Okay. Two hours is perfect. Okay. It is. Congratulations. Pop that bottle. You all want me to go get a bottle so I can pretend like I'm going to pop it? I can't pop it, though, but I can uh, hold it up and do like they do in the restaurant, hold it up. Uh, Brother uh, Lee, 90 minutes is perfect. A two hour is too long. So 90 minutes. So I'll keep it 90 minutes or less. Thank you, because I'm new at doing this one. So scene two. Oh, two hours too long, Greta? Mm, okay, let me see. So scene? Okay, let's see. Brother Lee, yes. Okay, yes. So if you would, okay, Jeanette Boyd. I love those uh, pink hearts. I love it. My sea of hearts. Pink hearts. Thank you all for coming to the pink house. Okay, uh, let me see. So I need to keep it 90 minutes or less. Brother Lee said yes. Anybody else know too? Um, I guess I'm going to try to, uh, so scene two, I'll try to, uh, I'm going to work on the 90, 90 minute or uh, or less. I'm going to try to keep it, let me see. Brother Lee, people have short attention spans. Oh, okay. That is true. We know a couple of people got that though, but um, so I have to uh, just stay within that attention span of people. Uh, okay, I can do that next time. Y'all are teaching me things I didn't know because y'all, you all won't believe this. Then uh, this social media thing is new for me. I just started uh, last year uh, doing the uh, C19 because I was, I needed people to talk to. I had been telling my husband for months, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And one day I just did it. People have short attention spans. Uh, tr uh, trust Pinky Nanny minutes is exact. Excellent. Thank you, husband. I'm getting ready. I get all. My husband just came in. Guys, what's that? Oh, you tell him I said hi. Okay. All right. Uh, guys, I got to go. My hubby just came in. Okay. That means I'm getting ready to eat. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Greta, you are doing a fine job, Pinky. Bye. Thank. Bye, bye, Greta Lee. Bye, bye, uh, Cecilia too. Bye, bye, everybody. And Jeanette Boyd. Bye, bye, guys. Linda, uh, Gamble. Everybody. Bye, bye. Love you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and do my end. I'm gonna hopefully I do it right. Your screen will stop immediately, and you will no longer be live.